welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this humid evening. I'm trying to beat the storms before they come in. And I'm going to be harvesting my lemon balm. I need to cut it back and rain it in some because it's taking over my echinacea. And it and the St. John's Ward is going to start fighting here in a minute or two. And it's trying to take over my mugwort. Alright, let's get to harvesting some lemon balm so we can make some tea. I'm going to dehydrate it and put it back for tea. Alright, now, in here I've, I see I have apple mint as well, which is growing in the front yard. So, somehow it's migrated back here. And here's a beautiful specimen of apple mouth. Now I'm having to check my lemon balm closely because I've noticed spittlebug has been laying eggs. Oh it smells wonderful. Like I said, you've got to know your plants. Make sure you are harvesting lemon balm. And see, this is what I was talking about, spittle bug. You have to watch out. Let's see if I can get it on it. See that? You have to watch out for that and unfortunately cut it off. I need to get in here and thin a lot of this out because lemon balm will is in the mint family and it will try to take over. Remember, good thing, don't drop your clippers. And I don't want to harvest all of it. And I definitely want to put some back as tincture, because it makes wonderful cold medicine cold and cough medicine. Let's see. I'm going to lay this here. Okay, I have a really nice amount harvested. I'm all, I went through, of course, Spittlebug made its nest on the most beautiful ones, but that's okay. I can still use these others. I'm going to have to wash them real well. And also, don't, don't forget, there'll be even more information down in the description box below the video. All right, time to get these cleaned up and ready to dehydrate and I'll see you here in a little bit hello and welcome to the dehydrating shed all right now today we're going to be dehydrating lemon balm and I was lucky and was able to harvest a big batch of it and I have plenty more to harvest now I'm going to be using a dehydrator this time I prefer to hang them to dry um, 
because to me they dry better but we've had so much rain and humidity that they would mold before they dried so I'm going to do it this way now what I'm going to want to do is cut it into smaller pieces that way they will be manageable in the dehydrator you do need to wash them look for bugs and bad leaves and since they were in the water the bottom leaves look really bad so unfortunately I'll just put those into the uh, compost pile there's no roots on them so I don't have to worry about my lemon balm taking over my compost piles And like I said, you just want to cut them in manageable pieces. Make sure there's no bugs. Something that will fit uh, in your dehydrator without any problem. Okay, I'm going to bring you back once I get done processing them. And I'll see you here in just a little bit. Okay, I have processed all of the beautiful lemon balm that I had gathered. I did have to... Uh, discard a few pieces there's another one right there but do not discard your stems use your stems because they are just as good as the leaves they all smell and taste like lemon okay let's load our dehydrator and this is another airflow dehydrator so I'll fill it up a little more than I do regular dehydrators because these dehydrate very well and pretty quickly. I completely prefer Air Force dehydrators over like my poor, my poor little brown Roncos. I'm thankful for them, but those poor things, they just, they don't dry like these Air Force ones do. And it's going to smell so wonderful in here once these get started because it's going to smell like mint i mean lemon they're in the mint family so one track mind here you want to make sure you keep your center hole clean that way the air can come up through And lemon balm is a fairly dry plant, so it won't take long for them to dry. Now, the stems will, but the leaves shouldn't take too awful long. And since they are a drier uh, plant, I'm using my older airflow. Because it dries good, but not as fast as my newer one. So... I'm letting this one be in charge of the lemon balm. And I said around the sides, you want to make sure to keep it from being any obstructions. And you want to keep the center section as clear as possible. That's where not only does the air come up through the trays, but it comes through the center and on the outer ring. It's kind of like a convection oven in a way. Oh, might have should have harvested some more. That's okay. I got plenty more to harvest. And this is a wonderful medicinal, and or you can just drink it as a regular tea during the winter times. Uh, I'm stocking up for winter, so when you start like getting your colds and sore throats, this makes a wonderful medicinal tea. Now you can also drink it during the summertime 
you don't have to dehydrate it. You can just make fresh tea with it then. And it has a really wonderful cooling effect. That dehydrator's ready to go. I'll cut it on here in a little bit with my other one. And then we will come back and check in the morning. And I'll bring you along with me. See you in the morning, everyone. Okay, welcome back. The lemon balm has completely dried. And I've let it acclimate. It's beautiful and green and definitely dry. What I do is, um, once I know that it's dehydrated, you will cut your dehydrator off and let everything completely cool down. And once it's cooled down, then it's ready to store. And all I'm gonna do is just put it into my bowl. And this is gonna be wonderful during the winter time to make tea, good hot tea with, and it'll give it a nice lemony hint. Now I have plenty of information down in the description box about lemon balm and its culinary and all of its medicinal properties. It is a wonderful herb to grow in your garden, especially your herb garden, raised beds, pots, it's just wonderful to grow. And I love my lemon balm. And of course, you want to make sure that you get all of it from the bottom of your dehydrator as well. And I'm just going to press it down some, which will make it easier to go into my jar for storage. Oh, it smells wonderful. And like I said, keep your stems, dehydrate your stems too, don't waste anything. Because the stems have just as much flavor as the leaves do. And this is my first batch of the year of dehydrated lemon balm, so I'm just happy as can be. And in another video, I will show you how I use, uh, how I uh, pressure seal my jars. It's simple, it's easy, and it's a technique everyone should know. And what you're going to use when you go to make um, a cup of hot tea, it's going to be about a tablespoon of the dried lemon balm for eight ounces of hot tea water Whew. I can't see my funnel so I'm just gonna have to be very careful mess but there I have my first dehydrated batch of lemon balm I got a full quart jar so it's a good start for the winter to come and all you do is you'll put your lid on and of course I forget I forgot my marker 
and you're going to want to write on the top of your lid or make a label and say lemon balm and the month and year that you dehydrated it and then you'll want to I usually store mine in a dark cool place that way uh, sunlight doesn't hit it and bleach it out I hope you find this video informative and that it encourages you as well to dehydrate lemon balm because it's one that we all need to add to our medicine uh, medicinal herbal teas as well as your culinary it's wonderful in rice you can um, just make so many different things you can even make jelly with it as well I hope you will click the like and subscribe button so you can come along on other adventures with me please click the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload another video everyone take care I've had a long day and now it's time to go home and rest up I look forward to seeing you in my next video have a blessed evening everyone